Hi there, it's Tracy Daviero coming to you live from my front porch and your VA mentor. Um, it's a gorgeous day out today, so I decided to bring the camera outside and uh, do some of my training videos for my YouTube channel um, right at here in the beautiful weather. So I'm sitting on my front porch because my family is sitting on the back porch in the pool. And uh, although that would be probably a lot of fun for you guys to see, uh, it's a little distracting whenever I'm trying to keep my, my train of thought going and that type of thing. So today I want to talk to you about a neat little exercise that, um, that I often teach my clients about uh, figuring out your area of specialty in your business. And so it's really just, you know, a few steps and that kind of thing, but it's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more detailed than probably you have uh, looked into before or maybe even done in your business. When we think about what we know how to do, like our skills that we know how to, to do, the tasks we can do for our clients, oftentimes we don't think back farther than like our last job or maybe our last couple of jobs, right? But what you have to understand, when most of us come into a VA business, actually, when I look at my statistics that I see coming in, a lot of VAs are starting their businesses around the mid-30s. And so what you have to realize is you have a ton of experience from, you know, maybe after high school, but even maybe in high school, of the things that you've learned how to do as a business person or as a, um, even as a worker, you know, in your jobs, um, training courses you've taken, anything like that between that time, so maybe like 16 and 35. So you have really 20 years of experience, varied experience, um, and things that may not be relevant to your business right now. But the exercise that I teach people, I call it, I call it their, their skills inventory. Goodness, hold on just a minute. I'm doing a lot of videos today. So it's a skills inventory. And um, it's really, really helpful to, to help you decide what it is that you know how to do and maybe even remind yourself of things that you know how to do that you forgot about altogether. So to figure out your specialty, first um, you have to take a big, long piece of paper, um, pad of paper, notebook, whatever, make a list of everything that you know how to do. Now this is related to business, okay? So it's not about, you know, painting your house or doing anything like this. This would be anything that you know how to do in terms of your work experience. So think about all the jobs that you've ever had um, and, you know, write down those job titles and, and that will help you do a little bit of a brainstorm on, on what you learned in that job, what you did, the responsibilities you took care of, um, you know, maybe if people worked under you or if you worked particularly well, you know, at a certain level. What are the things that you liked? Um, your training, include your training as well. Anything that you've learned. When I did this exercise the first time, I was at a mastermind group um, in Maine and uh, with, my, uh, with my mastermind at the time. And um, I, I really got into what I had learned. I remember taking training courses, you know, those ones about how to work with difficult clients and, and those types of things. And I had taken, um, I had taken a lot of Microsoft Office um, training, high expert level stuff at the time because I was using it. So anything that you can think of in terms of training that you have taken, I want you to put that on that list too. And hobbies that you have, if you have something that you really love um, to do, golf, cooking, uh, if you like wine tasting, I'll tell you a story about that in a minute. Um, anything that's a skill that you've had, anything that you like to do, um, that you are able to do everything you want to have on that. You want to have it all on that list. So um, even volunteer stuff, you know, if you want to make this list really comprehensive, okay? And then what we do next is we, um, I want you to circle the skills that you think you might be able to offer to clients. And so when we look back as far as, and this is not something that you can probably do in an hour, okay? This is probably gonna take you some time to do. It might take a few days as you start to, you know, when you open the vault that is the brain, it's really incredible how much stuff is still in there. So, so when I started thinking about the Microsoft Office courses that I had taken, I thought, my goodness, I would just have to take a little refresher. Um, you know, I know that, that the, sur the systems have changed and that kind of thing, but because I already learned it all, I could take you know a refresher and I could really use some of maybe use some of those skills in my business. And so it's important to look at all of those things. But at, what I want you to do is I want you to think about the skills you could offer to clients from that list, um, and then start to categorize those things. Start to see maybe what connects to each other, what might fit together. Um, here are some categories for you that may help you to to do that a little bit better. Communication is one, anything that would be related to communication. 
you know, mark it so that you can look at your list and see. If there are a whole lot of things in there that are communication, that might be an area that you could actually specialize in. Okay, and that's kind of what we're trying to get to here. Um, technical is another uh, category that you could use. Coordination or managing, you know, if you, maybe you could be a project manager or an OBM, um, online business manager, something like that. Organization is another one. Massive area of, of fault, if you want to call it that, for a lot of entrepreneurs. They're not very organized. They um, aren't sure how to, you know, keep all their stuff together because maybe it's not something that they've done before. As we talk about, their area of specialty is not admin. So if you have a lot of organizational skills. Um, teaching might be another one. Maybe there's something that you can do in terms of helping people uh, to do things better in their own business. Those are just five, okay? Communication, technical, coordination, organizing, organization, and teaching. Look at any other skills that you think. As you're starting to look, maybe some of them are, you know, all related to um, uh, bookkeeping or client care or, um, you know, t um, meeting planning, event planning, or something like that. Look at all of those things and start to categorize them. You will start to see um, really clearly what, how you can start to focus on a certain area of skills, um, something is just going to start to rise to the top as you start to look at that list. And it's really important to look at it um, over a, you know, a period of days or even weeks sometimes and just keep adding to that list because you're not going to realize how much it is that you actually know how to do. And it really helps you to tap into the brain and say, okay, this is, remember when you had a job that you really, really loved? And maybe you were only 19 when you had that job, but what did you love about it? Did you love managing people? Did you, um, did you not love managing people? Do you like to work on your own? What are the skills that you have that you can, you know, pull into and the, and the feelings, the things that made you happy? I went back to, um, I went back to college when I was 23 because I did this kind of exercise and I thought I didn't know what, what I wanted to do. I was sort of bouncing from admin job to admin job and I went back to school because I thought when did I really have the most fun and it was in hospitality so I went back to school for hospitality and that's how we make those kinds of decisions. So this is a really fun one, it's called this, I call it the skills inventory, excuse me, here we go again. And um, I really, I, I would challenge you to take it, um, do it, and uh, let me know what you come up with. I think it's, I think it's a really eye-opening exercise, and it's one that um, you should uh, definitely incorporate into your business to get some services for clients that you'll really love doing. Because your business is not just for a few, few days or months or years. Your business is for long term, and you want to make sure that you s stay completely happy in it. I hope that helps you, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Thanks. See you next time.